Good morning and welcome to today's reflection from Christ Church. Some 10 days ago, I had the privilege of sharing a reflection at our Ash Wednesday service. I'd been prompted to look uh, at words from Joel 2, verses 12 and 13. Yet even now, declares the Lord, return to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping and with mourning, and rend your hearts and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The day of the Lord is the dominant theme of the book of Joel. Judgment. For those who repent, the day brings the hope of restoration with promises of abundance and protection. But for others, there's only the promise of darkness and gloom. In these uh, verses, God calls for the fast. He's calling all the inhabitants of Judah and Jerusalem to lament and return to the Lord. And he's calling passionately. It's a wake-up call for them. You can't continue as you have been. You can't go on like this. And as we look at our own world, at what is going on today in Ukraine, in Gaza, in India, in North Korea, we could ask, echo the same message. Surely you can't go on like this. Return to me with all your heart. Rend your heart and not your clothing. Mean it. Don't just go for outward signs. These are words of real passion. Joel is warning the people. God is making clear to him that they need to change. The call to repent is passionate, it is immediate, it is urgent, it is for young and old. It is a call to the leaders and to the people, all people. Now, I love the quiet, reflective nature of the Ash Wednesday service, as it reminds us of the beginning of Lent and what that means. Pretty well in the same way, I love the 8.30 communion service, as it reminds us of our need to repent I know that sounds an old-fashioned word, but I can't find a better one. And, and to accept the forgiveness bought for us by Christ's death on a cross. I love these beautiful reminders of Christ's love and mercy. And then as I read those words in Joel, I was challenged to add to those, those gentle feelings of reflection and repentance. I was challenged to add a bit more urgency and passion that we too should mean it and that it would not be just a comfortable symbolism of going through the motions. It is a reminder of the fact that we have an amazing truth to share with each and every person we meet, not in an apologetic way, but in a passionate way. What we have in our hearts is something that really matters. The ashes of Ash Wednesday are also a reminder of our mortality to remind us we're human. The bread and wine of communion remind us of our need for Christ's saving work on the cross. Remind us of our weakness, of our need. Lent provides a call and an opportunity to listen more carefully to God speaking into our hearts. An opportunity to give up the distractions, to live more intentionally for God. But Lent is, is more than the negative giving up of something. It is, it should be a positive turning to God. The giving something up or starting something good is there as a reminder of our repentance. It's an opportunity for us to become even more aware of our human frailties and to become more aware of the needs of others and the needs of our world and to do something about those needs, praying for God's wisdom and guidance in true humility. So the period of Lent, and actually after every communion service and every day of the week, we just need to get closer to what God wants us to do and to do it, to rend our hearts and not our garments. Let's pray. Lord God, help us to keep our focus on you and all that you have done for us. In the midst 
midst of so much that is wrong in our world, even in our own lives, grant us your strength and protection. Support us in times of trial and carry us through all temptation, through your Son, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Have a great day.